hello friends so in today videos we will cover up uh, the functionality of filters filters known as uh, similar um, as middleware um, in other frameworks in coordinator 3 uh, filters functionality is uh, done by using the hooks uh, but in coordinator 4 we will uh, call it filters so how the filters will work and why we are creating it so um, here I am showing you like here I am not logged in but if I click on dashboard URL look I can access that logged in um, URL without login we will prevent the user do not access this logged in page directly with the help of filters so for that filters we will create uh, filters by using command so here write php spark enter so by scrolling up you can see the command the command name is make filter so if we call php spark make filter with the column and the name of the filters we will check auth card I'm just copy paste to avoid uh, the mistakes so in views just check in app filters it's created auth guard filter name is here so here we will check um, our um, user is logged in or not so we are check with the help of session so in before here we are check like here we are checking in session is logged in exist or not uh, is logged in we are storing in <coughs> login process that is true so in North guard we are just checking in session is logged in exist or not if not exist here we are using not if not exist then uh, return the user on login page and if uh, exist then it will not compiler will go here and um, the user can access directly so how that uh, auth guard will work so in dashboard in roots dot php file like this filter as auth card just pass uh, another variable and in filter we are passing auth guard but before calling that auth guard <coughs> we need to store that auth guard um, in coordinator so we need to store that auth guard in our config folder filters.php file and we will call this as auth card okay so we will check our app config folder in our config folder in filter.php in aliases we just save it so here we are giving the name and we are registering our auth guard to uh, how we can access it so here we are giving the name is auth guard and here we are assigning like from where auth guard file will found so we are saying in app folder in filters folder you will found the auth guard class so now uh, this auth guard uh, we will use uh, in roots.php whatever we are using it here so if now I will run php spark serve and
and if not check dashboard it's accessible it means first check our pages are saved no our pages are not saved so control k and s and we saved our all pages now refresh it look now if we call dashboard then it's not accessible it's redirecting login page uh, so our this page code is working like here we are checking in session logged in is exist or not if not exist so that's why it's redirecting again and again on login page so let's check it by using login that it is accessible after login or not login look after login now we can access this page log out now again if i click on dashboard it's not accessible so filters uh, is useful uh, whenever we are uh, preventing uh, the url which is not directly accessible so by using filters we can do that functionalities so in these videos we cover up how we can set up the projects how we can um, do the functionality of login and register and how we can um, redirect the user on dashboard and how we can prevent any url so these are the basic functionality whenever we start any projects then we need to um, do these type of codes in starting thank you